Hi, welcome back to Food Service Insider. I'm Jerry Wilhite, President and CEO of FSIC. Today we're going to have a little discussion about a lot of noise that's going on in the industry today regarding GPOs. With the consolidation, the arrangement between Food Buy and Unipro, I'm getting asked a lot of questions regarding GPO in the industry today, how they affect the industry, and I always come back with two or three questions that help us discuss GPOs and the effect they may have on our clients or on the industry. The first question I always ask is centered around visibility and clarity. Is there clarity and visibility as to what the cost is of participating in a GPO? Again, a lot of the times a uh, customer gets a check, gets a rebate, gets some deviated costs, but doesn't clearly understand the effect that's having on their business or truly what it costs them to participate in some of these programs. Again, if a manufacturer is given $10 for a product or $10 rebate and only $2.50 flows through to the customer, then I believe that $7.50 cost in that program or being part of that GPO is a very heavy price to pay. So all I ask customers is, do you have clarity to the program? Do you have the ability to know what the origination costs? But more so than that, do you truly understand what the cost of participating in a GPO program is for you and for your restaurant group? Second question that always centered around, what are the income streams? How is the GPO being paid or any third party for that matter? How are they getting compensated? Are they compensated by you directly or are they compensated through uh, the deal? And if they're compensated through the deal, I truly believe that you should have the ability to understand what that's costing you for you to be able to make a great business decision on whether that's the best thing for you and your restaurant group. So the third thing I discuss or question I ask, and again, it centers around to be able to inspect what you expect is that you always want to be able to be provided what the true cost is, what it's telling you, how much you're paying so that again you can understand what those income streams are so you can make a great business decision and you know what the true cost does of doing business through or with a GPO. In closing, I truly believe you're entitled to know what any service costs you, whether it's a GPO or any other third party for that matter. Until next time, I'm Jerry Wilhite, your food service insider.